Hey there and welcome back to another video. In today's video we will be taking a close look at Private Internet Access VPN, uh, one of the leading VPN services on the market. There are two major reasons for why we're going to talk about Private Internet Access VPN today. Their strict no-log policies and their highly competitive prices. Throughout the video, we will put PIA VPN to the test by conducting speed tests, DNS leak tests, and examining their key security features. We will also discuss how PIA VPN can help you to protect your online privacy and enjoy an enhanced browsing experience. So let's dive right in and explore what PIA VPN has to offer. Before we dive into the features of PIA VPN, let's go quickly over what a VPN is. A VPN or virtual private network is a service that encrypts your internet connection and routes your traffic through a secure server, protecting your data and online activities from praying eyes. Think of a VPN as a secure tunnel for your data. Imagine you're driving a car filled with sensitive information and you need to get it to your destination safely. Without a VPN, you would be driving on an open highway visible to everyone. With a VPN, you drive through a secure private tunnel that keeps your data hidden and protected from all eyes. Now let's put PIA VPN to the test. We will be comparing the performance of three different protocols, OpenVPN TCP, OpenVPN UDB, and WireGuard. Our baseline internet connection has a whopping 1000 megabits per second speed, and we will conduct speed tests using each protocol to see how they perform in terms of download and upload speed, as well as latency. Keep in mind that the results may vary based on your own connection, location, and the specific server you choose. And we're going to be mostly focusing on OpenVPN because it's an old protocol, it has been tested, it's an open source project, so we can actually see the code that goes into it. And WireGuard is more on the newer side, the more performance uh, optimized protocol. First up, we have OpenVPN TCP. After connecting to BIA VPN server using this protocol, I ran our speed test and got the following result. 143 megabit download speed, 97 megabit upload speed and low latency. As expected, OpenVPN TCB provides a stable, secure connection and tends to be a bit slower than UDB. However, it's very important to have a TCB option because many places like universities and open Wi-Fi networks might not allow UDP packets to pass. And in this case, you won't be able to connect to your VPNs. Next, I switched to OpenVPN UDB and ran the speed test again. With this protocol, I observed a small improvement in the speed. We got a 175 megabit download speed and 37 megabyte upload speed and low latency as well. OpenVPN UDB offers a good balance between speed and security, making it a very popular choice for many users. And it's also the default choice that you start on. Finally, I've tested WireGuard. WireGuard is the new protocol on the block. WireGuard's focuses on speed and simplicity. Uh, and as our speed test result shows, we got an impressive 500, 544 megabits per second download speed and 595 megabit upload speed and some very low latency. WireGuard provides lightning fast speeds, making it ideal for activities like streaming, gaming, video conferencing. It's really good. It's optimized for this kind of activities and it's a newer protocol. So it's kind of more up to date with the speeds that we can get now for the internet. But remember that it's really hard for almost any VPN provider to give you a full bandwidth of a thousand megabits per second. So it's really stretching it to the extreme. But if you have a internet speed connection of 50 or 100 or maybe 200 you won't even notice the difference because they're offering you that complete bandwidth and even more with WireGuard. As you can see each protocol has its pros and cons. The choice will depend on your specific needs and preferences. WireGuard speed is hard to beat but if you prioritize security above all OpenVPN may be the better option for you. Remember that individual results may vary, so feel free to test each protocol yourself and see which one works best for you. And let me know in the comments below which one was best and how did it go. And guess what? I've partnered with BIA VPN to offer an exclusive deal of four months for free and almost 83% off the subscription. This means you can enjoy all the benefits of this awesome VPN. And it's an incredible opportunity to secure your online privacy and experience good connection speeds without breaking the bank. You can find the link in the description below. Now let's review the network option. 
BIA VPN offers several DNS options to its users, each with its own impact on your privacy. So it's very important that we understand the differences and choose one that suits your need. You will find four options. You've got BIA DNS, built-in resolver, handshake DNS, and the custom DNS. Let's talk about each of these options and how they affect your privacy and put them to the test with a DNS leak test. First up is BIA's DNS, which uses BIA's own private DNS servers. By using BIA DNS, you're used ensuring that your DNS queries are encrypted and secure. You won't be vulnerable to DNS leaks. And this is the default option to offer and offers you a good balance of privacy and performance. As you can see from our DNS leak test, there are no leaks detected when using BIA DNS, which is pretty good. Next, we have the use existing DNS options. This option uses your device built-in DNS resolver. So every time you want to visit a website, it will use the service that your operating system provides to find the IB of that server that you're trying to access. And unfortunately, this can result in DNS leaks because you're doing the DNS queries on your own network, on your own location. Uh, so it might perform better, it might give you better performance, but it doesn't provide the same level of privacy as BIS DNS or Handshake DNS or any DNS server that you choose yourself. Uh, and our DNS leak test for the existing DNS resolver shows a leak, and this could compromise your location privacy. We also have the option to use Handshake DNS. Handshake DNS is an innovative decentralized DNS option that uses the Handshake blockchain protocol. It's a new protocol that's, that aims to offer you better privacy than traditional DNS. However, it can result sometime in a slower performance. And from our DNS leak tests, it will be very obvious that you're using this DNS because you can immediately see the location of this DNS server, which is in the US. However, it still protects you from leaking your own location, so that's already pretty good. Finally, there's the custom DNS option. This allows you to use your preferred DNS server, giving you more control over your DNS settings. However, keep in mind that using third-party DNS may impact your privacy and security depending on the provider you choose. So choosing the right DNS option can have a significant impact on your privacy. BIA DNS and Handshake DNS both offer secure and private DNS options, while the built-in uh, resolver, so your own resolver, leave you vulnerable to DNS leaks. It's essential to be aware of the differences and choose the option that best suits you and your privacy needs. Lastly, we're going to explore some of BIA's VBN key security features, the kill switch, maze protection, and the split tunneling. These features provide added security, privacy, and flexibility to your VBN experience. First, let's talk about the kill switch. A kill switch is designed to automatically cut you off your internet connection if the VBN connection drops. This will prevent any data from leaking outside the VBN tunnel, which is pretty good, BIA VBN offers a standard kill switch and an advanced kill switch. Uh, those kill switches activate when you connect to the VBN. If your VBN connection is interrupted, it's broken and some hub, uh, something happens on the way, it will just stop the connection. It will block all the internet traffic until the connection is reestablished. And uh, this is a great option for users who want the easy to use, no fuss solution to protect their privacy. But another valuable feature, and it's, it's actually my favorite, is the... BIA VBN MACE. It's an integrated ad tracker and malware blocker. When MACE is enabled, it prevents your device from loading ads, trackers, potentially harmful content uh, from any websites, and it provides you with a cleaner and safer browsing. I hate to see all those advertisements on the side and so on, and MACE does that for me. It just removes all of them, as you can see in this example. Lastly, BIA offers split tunneling. Split tunneling is a very powerful feature. It allows you to route specific applications or websites through the VBN, while other websites using your regular internet connection. Uh, it's particularly very helpful when you have to access local services or government services that require you to be in a specific location, and then you don't need to route all your traffic through this or break your internet, your VBN connection. You can just continue to use your uh, normal activity and have the have those applications that require a, a specific location set to where they should be. To use the split tunneling with BIA VBN, simply navigate to the split tunneling settings in the app. From there, you can choose which apps or websites you would like to route through a VBN connection. You have two options to allow only the selected apps to go through the VBN or to block selected apps from going through the VBN. And this provides you with flexibility to choose the ideal setup for your specific needs. All right, folks, that wraps up our in-depth uh, review of private internet access VPN. As we've seen, it offers 
plenty of options it has good performance it has strong privacy protections and it has a range of useful security features Bernsley have been using it for quite some time now and I must say that I'm genuinely impressed by their service it's stable it works out of the box you don't need to worry about it you use it it works if you're interested in BIA VPN for yourself, um, as I've mentioned before, I've partnered with them. You can get a good discount through the link below and this helped me and the channel to grow and to keep going. Thanks for joining me in today's review. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content on online security and privacy. If you have any questions or experiences with BIA VPN, feel free to share them in the comments below and stay safe online. I'll see you in the next video.